Hello and welcome to another video. So today we're going to see if biodiesel will run my diesel heater. Um, we've done a couple of test batches. I'm not going to take you through the process of making biodiesel. I was going to, but it involves uh, sodium hydroxide, heated oil and methanol. And I thought I'm not going to encourage anybody to, you know, do any harm to themselves. Loads of, if you want to find out how to do it. There's loads of videos online and uh, you can find it yourself. So we've done a couple of test batches. Uh, we've got one ready here. This one's just air drying. It's a, you know, it was it was one litre. But I turned the air up too much and, you know, spilt some of it down there. So we'll be using this one. Um, I'll take it over to the heater. You know, I'll hook it directly up and uh, we'll get going from there. Okay, so before we run the biodiesel test, I'll just give, give you a quick update on the the car and what I'm using. Uh, I'm using heating oil, kerosene, uh, to run the, the diesel heater. It runs perfectly well on it, it burns really clean and it's it's a lot cheaper, so um, that's what I'm running mine on. Road diesel is just too expensive. Red diesel's too expensive and kerosene, you know, I think I got, uh, you know, at the time of filming this, it was probably about 80 pence a litre as opposed to £1.20 for red diesel and £1.50 uh, for road diesel. So that's what I'm running mine on and everybody's got an opinion um, and they can write in the comments whatever they want, but it runs on kerosene. I'll check the chamber, everything's alright, that's the way it runs. So, what we've done is, we've just jerry-rigged this up. So that's our biodiesel there. Um, we've taken off, um, we've taken off the, the kerosene line. And we just hung it up there just now. Um, I've got a little fuel tap on there. And it runs, we'll try and get a shot. And it runs into the pump. Right there. So initially on the first test, what's going to happen is we've got a little bit of kerosene between the pump and the inlet and that will, you know, obviously ignite. So it'll not be a true test as to whether the, the biodiesel can ignite, you know, the diesel heater initially. But we'll do two tests. We'll do one where, you know, we know if we've got a little bit of kerosene in it and we'll use that up and it'll probably fire up and we'll see if it can sustain itself with the biodiesel and then we'll shut it back down we'll do a second test you know knowing that we've only got biodiesel in the system and that'll give us a true uh, a true picture of whether it can fire up with biodiesel and sustain itself um so i've got mine hooked up to a power supply unit over here um this is going to get changed because uh if you get a power cut and uh, you know it will just shut the power off completely and you can't have that with a diesel heater you just can't have the thing just shutting down it's got to go down through a cool down cycle if it doesn't what it'll do is it'll just melt the the PCB in the heater itself and then you'll be having to buy another PCB or maybe another heater because it's, it's done the plastics as well so what we're going to do is and before we go any further I've jerry rigged this up. That's an open container. That's a heat source. So just to be on the safe side, you know, have a fire extinguisher. So I'm not saying this is the way to do it. I'm just saying this is how I'm doing it. Right. Let's see if the thing will fire up. So we are. Uh, I'll just go. Let's power on. So we'll have a look outside as well and we'll see if, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what smoke we get or... Th th this is an initial test so I don't know if this is going to work, I don't know if I've got all the water out of the biodiesel when I was I was doing it, I don't know if I've got all the soap out of the biodiesel. All I've done is do uh, a couple of test batches, I'm no expert on it, I went online and 
had a crack at it, so we'll see what's what. But it was always going to be the case that I was going to try it with a diesel heater first because, you know, if I want to do bigger batches, I've got diesel vehicles, camper van, 4x4, work van, they're all diesel. And, uh, you know, I fucking use the, the biodiesel on that. Um, and those vehicles, that would be, that would be exactly where I'd want to be. So, we'll concentrate on this and we'll see if the thing wants to fire up. So where are we? Right, the pump's kicking in now. Right, I, I fully expect it to fire up initially, as I say, because there's kerosene between the pump and the inlet. But hopefully... Right, I can hear... I can hear it. I'm attempting to fire up. Can you hear that too? Right, so it has fired up. So we'll have a quick look outside. Have a look at the exhaust. Right, so I can't see any smoke out of that exhaust at all. do is we're going to give it maybe a couple of minutes that will get rid of the fuel okay what I'll do is I'm going to learn, I'm not going to keep the video going for another three or four minutes I'm going to pause the video here I'm going to let it run and then we'll get straight back to it and then we'll know it's running on biodiesel or not okay Okay, so we're back. Uh, we've had the diesel heater running. Uh, it seems to be no problems, and it's been running for, I don't know if you can see that, we've got 14 minutes there, can you see that? We've got 14 minutes. So, we can safely say that any kerosene that was in the system has been burnt through, and we're running 100% on biodiesel. Um, you see our power put the tank up. See the movement, the movement of the, the fuel line, the pump ticking away. We'll have a quick look outside. Have a look at the exhaust. So the exhaust is quite happy. There's no smoke, and the diesel heater seems to be. Quite happily running. Um, you know, it's warm. Everything seems to be okay. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to do a shutdown on this one, let everything cool down again, and then we're going to uh, do the test again. But this time, you know, we're going to test it to make sure that it can start. Uh, start up on 100% biodiesel. So we'll just hit this. I'll let that shut down, let that cool down, and then we'll get back to you again, and then we'll do the second test and see how we go. Okay, here we are. We're going to conduct a second test. Uh, we know that all the kerosene that was in there for the initial test, you know, there's nothing left of that, and it's going to be a hundred percent biodiesel that will have to start up on. Um, so we'll just knock the power on and get the 
way on top. We'll see how we go. Right, that's this one. Fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. So it ran really well when it was running and it was running just on the biodiesel. It ran really well. Um, you know, just as well as using road diesel or the kerosene that I'm using. So we'll see if it wants to run. Because this is the thing, you know, biodiesel has a is it higher or lower? A higher flash point than normal road diesel. So we'll see if it can, you know, ignite. Um I'll just have a look and see if there's anything coming out of the exhaust. So nothing as yet. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Right, that's the pump kicked in just now. So I can hear it attempting to fire up in the burn chamber. Pump's getting a bit faster. I can smell waste. I can smell like uh, French fries. So that's a pumpkin a little faster. That's a unit spinning up. Oh, I can hear it wanting to go. Question is, will it self sustain? Let's see if the glow plug's still on. I think it's away, I think it's going. We're definitely getting here out in front. Is it one minute? Yeah, it's starting to get there. So we're three minutes in and it's definitely warming up. The glow plugs off, so the unit is uh, sustaining itself on. It is firing up initially, and it's sustaining itself on 100% biodiesel. I'm delighted. Uh, couldn't have went any better, really. So there they are. Uh, you know. I mean that was the first two test batches of biodiesel I've ever made so you know I'm not an expert on making biodiesel um, but you know if this is if this is the, the results yeah, a couple of test batches we can only you know make it a bit better in future I suppose and use it in the vehicles use it in the diesel heaters um, so what we're going to do is, this heater here was a workshop heater, uh, but it's kind of been commandeered by my, my better half. Um, we're piping it in, you can see that it's getting piped in, and that goes to the 
my better half's office. So we've been kind of using it to heat up the office. I've got another 5 kilowatt heater. Now what I want to do is, I want to run, let's say, 20 litres of biodiesel through it. Um, and it's a brand new unit. We'll take the chamber apart and we'll see what the inside of the chamber's like after we're on 20 litres of biodiesel. See if it's, you know, potentially going to cause any problems in future with poking up the, the burn chamber. But for now, we're going to call this one a success and, uh, and we'll, we'll get a couple of test videos with biodiesel in the future going. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you know, if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Give me a like, stick a comment in there and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.